What's up guys, Myron here. So as many of you know, I'm a big time fursuiter. I love fursuiting, it's one of my favorite things to do at conventions and just in life in general. So I'm gonna be putting together a little five part series I like to call Fursuiting 101. It's gonna be five quick, concise videos on fursuiting. Accessories, getting into your suit, caring for your suit, performing in your suit, and most importantly, fursuit safety. So this first video is on fursuit accessories. It's all the things that aren't your fursuit but are just as necessary. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of things that I think are entirely essential and a couple of things that are maybe a little more optional. Now the first thing I've got is something that pretty much everyone agrees that you need. Every suitor that I've talked to agrees that this makes a huge difference and I think you already know what I'm talking about. It's Under Armour. This stretchy, springy, athletic stuff that you pretty much need. I've tried suiting without it and it is painful. You're so hot, you're so sweaty, it's disgusting. I really, really highly, like if you're gonna buy any accessory, any accessory at all, buy this. And you don't need to get the Under Armour brand Under Armour, you can even get the off brands. Now some little extras that you can get in addition are a balaclava, which is like a little ski mask type thing. And something that I do because my gloves are unlined, so I have a pair of mesh riding gloves. You can get them for like eight bucks on Amazon. I'll link to all of this, everything that I've got, every accessory that I show you today, I will link to in the description down below. So go ahead and take a look at that. Now the second thing that's almost as important, but you can almost get away with, and you might already have one of these lying around, are fans. Fans for your suit, to dry off your suit, dry off the nastiness, keep your suit in good condition and smelling good. Now this fan is a smaller little Honeywell fan. It's a perfect size for a fursuit head. You just plop it down on top of here and it'll blow up through the head and dry out your head really nicely. Now this is a little bit more optional. This is a wetsuit drying hanger. It's actually a big wide shoulder hanger, which I recommend using a wide shoulder hanger regardless. But this one actually has a fan inside that blows air down into your bodysuit to dry it off much, much faster. After washing my suit or suiting for a long time and having my suit be all wet and nasty, this thing has dried it off in an hour or two tops, whereas without that it might take many hours to even a day or two if I've washed the suit. But they're definitely optional. If you have the money, I highly suggest getting one. This third thing is also relatively important, and this is disinfecting sprays. Now a lot of people will say, oh go buy Febreze disinfecting or some other brand, Lysol disinfecting spray. You don't need that. First off, the chemicals in that will actually start to break down your suit and leave a residue, so I really do not recommend it. But then on top of it, it costs a lot of money. What I recommend, get yourself a spray bottle and fill it up with 50% isopropyl alcohol, 50% water. Now remember that your isopropyl alcohol will come in 70% or 91% isopropyl alcohol concentration. Basically, if you're using 70% isopropyl alcohol, put 70% of this in the bottle and fill it up with water then. Using 91, you can pretty much go half and half. This spray is super, super cheap. To make a bottle of this, this will last me like a few cons, and it's like 30 cents in isopropyl alcohol. Furthermore, the isopropyl alcohol will not harm your suit, not even a little bit. It'll help it dry faster, and it'll leave no scents, no residues, no nothing. 100% recommend this. Don't buy the disinfecting stuff. Just make this cheaper, better. Everything's better about it. Now, all those suitors that you run into who smell really, really good, they usually do one of two things. They either store their suit with those dryer sheets or, like me, they get a little bottle of essential oils. Now, this one is actually a cinnamon leaf essential oil. I have to be really careful with this because if I put too much in here, it makes my skin <laughs> kind of burn a little bit because I got really sensitive skin, but. Uh, if you put some of this essential oils, you can do any scent. There are a lot of them out there. If you put just a few drops of this, you literally only, I literally put maybe 15 drops in this big bottle and it makes the whole spray smell really like cinnamony and good. And you can do all sorts of crazy things with it. Really good combination. Finally, a few other little cleaning things you might need. Wool light or any other delicate laundry detergent for when you wash your suit and full X. Really good for getting out stains, spills, whatever. Really great, it's basically a carpet cleaner, which essentially your fur is long carpet. Now the next thing on my list are brushes. You'll need brushes, because brushes are important to brush your suit, make it look real nice and pretty. Brushes come in a lot of different varieties. You've got your nubby little tipped brushes, you've got your slicker brushes, and then you've got your wire brushes. Now these nubby brushes, I would stay away from. They are meant for your actual hair, they are not meant for suits, they do not work well, they will pull out hair, they're terrible. Don't use them, they're garbage. Slicker brushes are great, but you have to be very, very careful. First off, you brush against 
the slicker things. The reason you're brushing basically backwards is because the slicker bristles are like little hooks. If you brush in the right direction, it'll actually start to pull out fur and that's not good. That's not what you want. So by brushing backwards, basically against the grain, instead it parts the furs and puts them in order instead of tearing them out. The whole idea of slicker brushes, the whole reason they were invented was to pull loose fur out of dogs, but you're not a real dog, so your fur will not grow back. Use them backwards, be careful, and only use them on long fur. If you use them on short fur, they could actually damage the backing, so you wanna be very, very careful. Now the last kind of brush that I would recommend you use are these shorter bristle brushes. Now these are really good for short fur, and actually for fursuit heads that might have very shaved down fur. The reason I would use these is that the bristles are very close together, so they're really good at getting the furs nice and in order. Furthermore, you have a lot more control over them, so you can determine exactly how much you wanna go in. So this prevents you from doing any damage damage to your backing keeps your suit looking nice and clean. If you're gonna get two brushes, get these brushes. If you can only get one, probably get the bristle brush because this can be used on long fur, but this slicker brush is a little bit better. So I have both. Now the last thing you'll need is some way to transport your suit. This suit crate Super durable, super tough, holds my entire suit. Very tough, waterproof, very good. You want a big suit crate, one made of a tough plastic, one that can take a hit or two. But at the end of the day, you just want something that's covered, that'll prevent splashes or dirt, and that helps you move your suit easily without it rubbing up against things or being out in the sunlight or being in the heat just something to protect it. So even a Tupperware container or some basket with a lid that you find is more than enough. These crates are wonderful. This one was like 15 bucks at Walmart, so it really wasn't that bad. And it has held up phenomenally. Now the last of the accessories I've got for you are some of the things I would consider a lot more optional. They're hit or miss. You might need them if you have certain conditions or certain requirements, but for the most part, they're just little optional things that might make your suiting experience slightly better. Now the first one is one that I actually don't have. It's a neck fan. Now some people walk around with these things. They tie around the neck and hang down. They're little boxes that you can basically shove up into the mouth of the suit and it'll blow air into the mouth. I've tried them before, they're pretty wonderful, but I personally don't like how they hang and get in the way of like hugs and stuff. So I generally don't use them, but they're pretty nice. Now the next thing is something you've probably heard of. It's a little more expensive, but they're really, really nice if you have problems with heat. And that's phase change cooling vests. Now this one is made by Easy Cool Down. They're one of the more premier makers, but there are a lot out there. They're pretty wonderful. This one lasts about an hour and a half to two hours, keeps me nice and cool, and is pretty wonderful. However, I wouldn't recommend one of these if you're a suitor like me who likes to go out for many, many, many hours unless you have somewhere you can dump it because after that hour and a half to two hours, they get very warm, they get very uncomfortable, and it's not good. One last little category of accessories that are maybe a little more closer to the actual fursuit than not are actual fursuit accessories. Now, in my case, some of you know this very, very large beanie. It's kind of my go-to, you know, to, to accentuate my actual beanie. But on top of that, you've got things like bandanas. They're wonderful for hiding that seam between your head and your bodysuit. So they're pretty nice little accessories for your fursuit. There are other accessories too, tank tops, fursuit sandals, etc., etc. But the gist of it is that there are a lot of accessories out there, a lot of things for your fursuit. You just have to determine what you need, what you want, and what you don't need to get. So with this all in mind, I hope you've enjoyed the first of Fursuiting 101. If I missed any accessories or anything important that you think is necessary or good for fursuiting, please leave it in the comments down below. Let everyone know. Let's start a running list of things that I might have missed. But regardless, I've been Myron in a hat that's way too big for me, and I'll see you guys next time.